Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here today, my name is Helen and a huge welcome to you all. Today we're going to do something a little different. Today we're going to look at the last hundred years of fashion. The last hundred years have seen a huge transformation in women's fashion. And as women's lives changed over the years, so did their fashion style. I want to take us back over these years, decade by decade, and explore the different dress style as it changed. I'm going to use clothes that are in my own wardrobe, attempt to be a little creative, and try and recreate these fashion styles. This will be part one of exploring the last hundred years of fashion. Um, and we're going to go from the 1920s through to the 1960s and just see how fashion has evolved for women. Well, let's get started with the 1920s. The 1920s saw women let go of their corsets and wear chemises and camisoles, comfortable undergarments. Dresses took on a shift-like form. Comfort was key. They wanted the ease of movement, freedom of movement and comfort. Dresses took a droopy nature. And who isn't in love with the flapper dress made famous in the Roaring Twenties? Long strands of pearls were in fashion, long earrings. The long gloves became famous in the 1920s. And the most popular hairstyle was the short bob. Makeup was kept fairly simple with mascara and eyeliner defining the eyes. Rosy cheeks were very popular. But the most popular trend of the whole decade were the bright red Cupid bow lips. In the 1930s, fashion was very largely influenced by film specifically Hollywood. Skirts and dresses began to softly hug curves, curves that were hidden in the 20s. Dresses and skirts were soft and kicked out just below the knee. Puffed sleeves, shoulder pads, belted waists were also very popular. Patterned fabrics became popular florals, polka dots and so on. And hair was worn longer, either in soft curls, crimped or in updos. As far as makeup was concerned, light eyeshadows were worn, pale foundations and dark red and raspberry coloured lipsticks. And in the 1930s, we did lose the Cupid bow. In the 1940s, our skirts started to get a little shorter. Skirts and dresses were A-lined Puffy sleeves were popular and also we saw the popular trend of wide leg high waisted pants. Other popular trends were button down blouses, wrist length gloves were popular, fedoras, pillbox hat, they were also very popular and tailored suits became a trend as well. Hair once again in the 30s was worn um, a little longer and 
generally curled and pinned up to one side. Makeup again was simple, just with a light coloured foundation and a splash of red lipstick. The 50s saw T-length swing dresses become very popular with full skirts. But by the mid-1950s, the pencil skirt and dress had also become extremely popular. So no matter what style you chose to wear, the aim was to accentuate or create an hourglass shape. Capri pants, high-waisted jeans, and cardigan and sweater sets also became extremely popular. As for hair, pixie cuts were fashionable, ponytails, the bouffant, also very popular hairstyles. Makeup was still, still remained fairly simple. Lipsticks, bright reds and oranges were the go. Super short shorts known as hot pants first appeared in the 1960s and skirt and dress lengths were starting to get incredibly short. Shift dresses in lovely swirling colours became fashionable. Go-go boots, corduroy pants, bell bottoms were all the go. And the 60s was also the hippie era. So we had our tie-dyed and our fringe jackets and our sandals. It was an amazing decade as far as fashion was concerned. Hair was worn long with a centre part or with a headband and teased. Also, the flipped bob became fashionable and the all-famous beehive hairstyle. With our makeup, our eyeshadows became a little more colourful. We started wearing our blues and our greens but softer blushes and lipsticks were in fashion. Well, that brings us to the end of the first 50 years of our 100 years of fashion. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd forgotten how much fun it was to dress up. I've had a lot of fun with this one and I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. So if you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And don't forget to look out for part two of our 100 Years of Fashion, which will be coming out very very shortly so in the meantime have a wonderful week stay safe i'll see you very soon bye for now